a report commissioned by the UK government and adopted by the United Nations estimates that 10 million deaths may occur each year by 2050 due to antimicrobial resistance if nothing is done. But something is being done. The Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, together with the government of Kenya have designed interventions to fight antimicrobial resistance in poultry production in Kenya. We have deployed interventions that are related to proper feeding, vaccinations, and improving hygiene. Antimicrobial resistance, as shortened as AMR, is a global public health threat. In simple terms, antimicrobial resistance refers to a the situation where the germs are not killed by the drugs that used to kill them before. The process of antimicrobial resistance, though occurring naturally, is escalated by misuse and overuse of antibiotics. To address this, interventions need to be instituted in both human and animal health. Gatundu North has one of the highest concertation of farmers involved in rearing of commercial layers. In a knowledge, attitude and practices study done in this area, FAO found out that out of the 10 most common diseases in poultry, four can be prevented through vaccination and six can be prevented through hygiene. FAO then conducted a pilot project that involved training of about 50 poultry farmers in best practices in poultry production. The project adopted the farmer field school approach where the farmers were divided into three groups. Learning took place in a class without walls and a fully stocked poultry unit was also availed for practical lessons. We are trying to train our farmers to layer their chicken, produce eggs that are free from antibiotics. Fow. One plus one message. Fow. Zero under. CFFS. It is possible and profitable to rear chicken without the use of drugs. Because antimicrobial resistance is brought about by misuse and overuse of drugs, and drugs are mostly needed to cure diseases, Therefore, if diseases are prevented, there would be no need for drugs and hence reduced occurrence of antimicrobial resistance. Since most diseases are brought by about unhygienic conditions, improvement of hygiene and biosecurity was the main focus of training in the farmer field schools. Already, the farmers have begun implementing the lessons learned in their poultry farms. The farmers have actually changed. They are already practicing what uh, we've been able to, to teach them or to train them. And at the moment, the three groups are already able to produce eggs which are free from uh, antimicrobial uh, residues. My name is Stephen Gecho Himboro. When you observe proper hygiene, you hardly make use of any drug. And we have realized that is true. Hmm? I don't remember when the last time that I used drugs. I personally, since FAO came in, actually, when checking my record, I wondered what happened to the diseases that used to inflict my birds. Stephen is planning to reconstruct his poultry unit to conform to what he has learned in farmer's field school. Nancy, on the other hand, has improved her biosecurity measures. <laughs> Na akiingia huko lazima a disinfect. Alafu kuanzia hapo niko na spray na mspray. Fo imenisaidia sana. Na hata mimi nitakuwa usaidizi kwa wengine. This is the 26th week of training and the birds in the poultry show house have attained peak production with no death from disease. We are hoping that this this knowledge the farmers have received it will be cascaded outwards. In fact, it can be done International. The farmers are proud and happy as they are graduating in a ceremony presided over by FAO and government representatives. Sasa nyinyi mtakuwa ko ambassadors. Nyinyi ni mtafundisha wenzenu kwa sababu muna mafunzo 
thabiti muende mueneze injili ya usafi ya kuchanja na kufanya nini kukuza kuku bila kutumia madawa i'm not just like any other farmer i have graduated i'm very happy about that i have a certificate that can actually present it somewhere in an office yeah and that means that i've been given a go ahead to do as much as i would like about those but i have a lot of knowledge